What is up, 40 fam, and welcome back to the channel. And guys, welcome back to Motivation Monday. As you can see, got a new quote for us today, new topic that we're going to discuss today. And guys, before we jump into this, uh, as always, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, send down your recommendations for like videos. Maybe you want to hear another topic for more Motivation Monday, you can send that below. Uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter because I also give inspiration, motivation on a daily on there. And up here we have a PayPal donation in the description or you can donate through Cash App. But guys, I appreciate the support. Thank you all for just uh, always supporting the channel. And hey, you greatly appreciate it. Hoping these motivational Mondays help soon, soon, soon. Going to put them on the podcast so y'all can read, y'all can hear them again, because many times, most times, you know, you don't want to go back and find a video. You want to already have it uh, accessible in your car with podcasts. So, but God, today, topic today, as you can see, hard work, hard work and hard work ties in with so much. And I was just thinking about this yesterday because me and my wife, we talk. And I was asking, I was like, hmm, what should, what should I talk about for Motivation Monday tomorrow? It was yesterday on Sunday. And she was, and we were both thinking, and I was like, you know what? Something will come to me. Something will come at the right time. Just because, like, most times we don't, I, I know that there's different things that I can touch on. And it's a lot, because I've been doing this for a long time. I know there's a lot that I probably already covered. But now I'm just trying to find some quotes. That I can try to, you know, go off of and different things like that. And what came to me was hard work. And this was the quote that came to me. You get what you work for, not what you wish for. That that says a lot. Let me say that again. You get what you work for, not what you wish for. Like, And I want to tie this in just with goals because I go in every week and I talk to different students and it even brought back to my attention that, you know, when I was in high school, I started, that was the first time I actually started writing goals. And I just remember, man, I wrote down a lot of goals. And for a lot of those, it was just hoping and wishing, hoping and wishing, hoping and wishing that it would happen. And it was to the point teaching kids, teaching students about goals that I had to realize, man, I wrote too many. And you might be thinking, wait, you're supposed to write goals, right? You know, you have goals written down, but sometimes you can have too many to the point that you're not going to touch all of them, especially in a certain time span that you're trying to. So, and with that hard work, you want to set attainable goals, goals that you know you're working towards and that you can reach because most times when it comes to putting in that hard work, like that, the results are going to come from the work that you put in. The results not going to come from you just hoping and wishing they come. Like you got to go out and put in the work. And that's one thing that I had to realize, like not saying that I wasn't working hard or anything like that, but certain things, it was just a matter of they wasn't reachable for me. But that's something I didn't understand because most, we, we see it as that as long as we write it down, it's going to happen. And I'm a faith believer. I believe that you write the vision, you make it plain. But then again, you got to be real with yourself. Like, all right, are you really working towards that? Are you really going to achieve that goal? Because I said, really having all those goals, you can disappoint yourself when you don't reach certain ones because you just have too many written down. And that's where I found myself having too many written down and not even having the knowledge, and that's another thing, not even having the knowledge of knowing where to start and how to obtain certain goals, because you need you need the knowledge to, in order to do that. So, and that's why I say you get what you work for. The things that I've worked for, I have gotten. That's one thing I can say. The things that I've worked for have came, but there were also things that I just didn't know how to get it if it was going to come, I was just pretty much wishing it would come. 
But how how do you work towards that? Right. How do you work towards those things you don't even have the knowledge of? And that's one of the main things that we got to take into consideration. Like we got to work for the things that we want. We can't just wish and hope and maybe one day it will be my time or, you know, I know it's coming. If you're not working for it, then it may not come unless you are working towards that. Unless it is something that is attainable to you, something that eventually, you know, like if you put in the work that is going to come, like you don't want to let yourself down and be disappointed when certain things don't happen for you. Right. And that's only because we just wish we just wishing and not working for it. And definitely wanted to tie in because for on YouTube, I put a lot of videos out on YouTube, try to do two a day. But even in December, I'm going to be pushing out. I'm pushing out right now. been working on my December list since October, but I'm pushing out like 325 videos, 325 videos in December. And that's just for the first 25 days. Like that's work. It is a lot of work because I've definitely been tired, but there's a certain goal and certain results that I'm expecting because I put in this work and I've seen, I've seen it happen for somebody else. And he knows like, Hey, I did this. This is what happened. So I'm like, man, I need to try that because maybe it will happen for me and not maybe, but if I just put in the work, I know it will come because I seen that person put in the work. And it came and not only came like being able to do it at a consistent pace, at a consistent basis, you're going to see the results. That's why like that work is necessary. If you have faith, you need work. Faith and work go together. Now, we're just telling a coworker or a friend of mine, hey, we've been climbing mountains that God told us that we can just speak to and tell them to move. So we've been climbing the whole time. When we really didn't have to climb, we're climbing things that God never intended for us to climb. He just told us to have faith, have faith and works. And we can tell mountains to move just with a little bit, just with a little bit. And we using all our might to climb. And God just, hey, trust me, have faith in me and do what you need to do necessarily at the appointed time. Do what you need to do right now. And I will see you through. Just faith. Right. So that hard work got to be tied in with faith as well. Like you get what you work for. You got to believe you got to believe in the work that you're putting in, because if you're not believing in the work, then that that work is null and void. Now you're just working for nothing. You're just doing it for nothing because that wishing because to me, faith is not just wishing. Faith is knowing, expecting, expecting it to come, knowing it will come. So match your work to do match match your work with your faith. Match your work with your faith. But guys, this is all I have for this video. I didn't expect it to be this long, but I got a little carried away because it's like, man, you gotta put in work. And most of y'all, y'all seen yourselves put in a certain amount of work that got you to where you are right now. Like, don't count that as slack because you put in the work. Put in the work. Or a certain lifestyle that you have, you put in the work for certain things that you got. Don't count it slack, no matter what nobody says or anything. Like, as long as you know you're putting in the work, you're going to see those results. And that's the results you get for putting in the work. You can do anything and have anything you want once you put that work in. But that's all I have for this video. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Send down your recommendation. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. You see it at Dartan. And don't forget, there's many ways that you can support this channel. Link is in the description. It can either be PayPal, Cash App. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys. Make sure y'all putting in that work. Don't forget, you get what you work for, not what you wish for. That's all I have. Y'all be blessed. Be the best and be you. I'm out.